<laughs> hey guys, it's me Adam B and today I am playing a grounded prank on my little brother. I haven't played a prank in quite a while and I'm so excited. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do you this, I'm gonna do you that and that and that and you know what, let's hang on just over the light. Uh, Don't break my light. Don't break my light. And that is, it's Callum's light, it's not your light. Uh, what else can we do? We can throw some of that away, some scissors. Some pencils, some pens. Da, da. <laughs> I'll lock a t-shirt line here. We'll put it here. We have some markers as well. Oh, that's, very, that's terrible. Oh, don't do oh. this. I gave him controller for good luck. I think I've done it. You know what, actually? We need to set up hidden cameras inside there so when Callum comes home from school, he'll be like, what on earth happened? And we'll be like, Callum, your room is so messy. And then he'll get grounded. But first, let's set up the hidden cameras. <sighs> okay, here we go, here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it looks <laughs> that, like That is so bad. I do sometimes feel lousy for doing these pranks. It's but... gonna come back on you. Well, I mean, it probably has at some stage. I mean, there's cameras lying about everywhere in this house, but hopefully he doesn't notice these ones. I think they're all set up. We've done our job here. Oh, we look, home, family and love. Three things we're not showing Cal today. So we've got his room set up, we've got the hidden camera set up, but there's one thing I want to show you. Come with me. Guys, I want to give a huge shout out to Casetify for sponsoring this video. Casetify is a company that makes high quality iPhone cases, which has a variety of designs and pretty cool customizations that you guys can do on your very own custom case. And their impact cases are engineered with a two layer construction of Cheetech and, wait for this, their drop test approved up to 6.6 .6 feet for the impact cases. That's like taller than me and I'm always dropping my phone and the ultra impact cases are drop test approved for up to 9.8 feet. So yeah, these cases are a lot more protective than the cheaper alternatives that you would find on Amazon. They also come in a ton of designs so you can choose your favorite color, your favorite print. And I also should say that Casetify's new impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. And their cases also feature Defensify. What is Defensify? It's an antimicrobial coating that kills 99% of bacteria and prevents bacteria from sticking to the case surface. Pretty cool if you ask me. And Apple has released the new iPhone 13 so if you're getting it you should definitely get a Casetify case to protect your new phone. Just head to casetify.com forward slash Adam B or click the link in the description to claim your 15% off. So yeah huge shout out to Casetify for sponsoring this video but now it's time to see if Callum's coming home. He should be back any minute now and I don't know why I check my wrist because I don't have a watch. Right, you see, you see, you listen to me? Yes. The plan today is that we're gonna pretend that Callum's grounded. Right? Right. So his room is messy, but we don't know it's messy until someone walks in and sees it, okay? Right. Okay, and then we have to blame Callum that he made the mess. And who really made the mess? Oh, you're lousy. <laughs> you just have to be mean today to Callum. Sound good? Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, well, we'll just have to wait until he comes home. He should be here within the next five minutes. I can't wait to prank him. If you're excited, smash the like button, press subscribe. And you know what? Let's set a like goal. You want to set a like goal? Yes. What? Five hundred thousand likes. Mom? Five million. <laughs> it's not really five million likes. I don't think we'll get five million likes. Will we get five million likes, we guys? to try. Five million likes. I want five million likes right now. Shh, guys, guys. I think he's here. He's arrived. He's, he's you alright? Let's go. Give us a hug. Give us a hug. Where else will do that to you? I'll do that to you. Ow, 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 
Why did you even create a mess of your I'm trying to oh look for something. Oh my god. No, nah, no, that's not acceptable. No. There's one thing to do, it was tidy room and then. Put your clothes, get up your legs. I looks told like you, you it wasn't me. Looks like you had a rave. It wasn't me. Right, Kiana, you're going to. No. You're going to. No, mommy, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Like you mommy, no. no. It's not the way you trashed your room. No. It looks like you were trying to go through something. Did you have a bad day at school and then just come up and. Oh my god. No, no, that's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. Right, 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 you need to think about your actions again. Oh my god, yeah. shut up! Don't you dare, don't you dare. <laughs> I'm up. Is that a shoe at you? It's going to burn. This is supposed to be a prank, but it's actually turned out to be real. So basically, we tried to prank him and then he split mum with a shoe. <laughs> and now he's really grounded. He's really grounded. So hold on, so it's not a prank anymore? No, Paul, he has grounded. I nearly get spot. All joking aside, this was supposed to be a prank. I know it was. Are you tiny? Are you sorry? What? Say sorry. Say it like you mean it. Right, I'm not impressed at it. Or can't we? It's not me! You made a spot on your It's shoe. not me! I, mommy, I, sh I didn't do this! Who oh, hey, threw the shoe? Me? Yes. You threw the shoe. I mean, I've done all this. I was on here for like three seconds. So why'd you throw a shoe at me? Because I thought it was Adam. Yeah, shoe projectiles are not allowed in the room. Right, Kian, come on now, tidy up the room, all joking. Right, all no, joking. I'm not getting grounded though. No, you're and, not. And, 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 jokes on you, I still have my Xbox and my monitor so I can still play. No, I don't mind. Well, well, really well, we need to get his Xbox. Why? Right, I got a good idea for the next part. If the bank calls you and says there's a charge from, I don't know, Nintendo, and it's from Callum, okay? Right. I'll call you, I'll like call you in a different accent, in a different voice, and hopefully Callum will believe it, okay? And right. that's another opportunity for you to freak out. Right, okay. Right? okay. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Beals. Uh, we've found a charge on your credit card for $89.99 via Nintendo. We would just like to clarify, uh, is this purchase made by Callum Beals? How's that sound? Aye, that's good. I, was really, Aye. I really don't think they'd ask, is this purchase made oh. by Callum Beals? Do you want to go up now and pretend that you're like, uh, hang on, sorry, can you repeat that again? Hello, well, Mrs. Beals, we'd just like to confirm a charge of $89.99 on your credit card. Alright, can you confirm that again? There is a charge on your debit card for $89.99 on Nintendo, and the name on file is Callum Beals instead of Edel Beals. We're just checking to confirm if this transaction is genuine. Alright, have you hold the line a wee second, okay? Yes, I can hold. Yeah. Well, that is the bank phone on me. Did you buy something? Am I debit card for 89.99 for Nintendo? 89.99? No, I don't use Nintendo. Well, it's under your name. Well, I don't use it. I use Hello, madam. You were on mute. Hello. Sorry. That must be an accident. Sorry, Mrs. Beals. The transaction has already processed, which means the money has been debited from your account. We would just like to confirm if this was you. No, it wasn't. It must have been someone else. It must have been you. Why are you claiming it me? Because it's your name and you're the only one my Nintendo. I don't have Nintendo. Tell me you do. I don't use it. You must use it, Kelly. I don't use it, I. Would you have done it by accident? No, because I don't use Nintendo, so I, I literally can't do it by accident. Sorry, that word didn't come from here. Apologies, madame. We can confirm that the payment has been made by uh, Mr. Callum Beals. It has been made by Mr. Callum Beals. Yes. I don't know. 
I don't buy ninety pound worth of Nintendo, it's just a waste of money. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Hello, sorry, oh, this it didn't come from us today. You didn't purchase that, purchase wasn't me, so Mr. Kellen Booth. I'm sorry, but it has. But good day, madam, goodbye, bye bye. What? <laughs> what do you think Yam's thinking right now? Right now, what do you think he's thinking? But here's the thing. What? There was a 17 pound charge made in mum's credit card to Nintendo four there, days ago. There was. And Callum hasn't admitted to that. That's actually true. So Callum is might be like I don't know, it. what? <laughs> No, 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 no. no what are spending, you doing? Let me go. They're spending money where well, you shouldn't be spending money. So, what? What are the tech here? I didn't know. What else have we got? The tech yeah. iPad and the controllers so you can play your Xbox. Thank you very much. Ha, 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 ha
Yeah, no way. I went to school. You went to school? Yeah. Why are you making a phone call saying you didn't go to school? <laughs> I don't know. Is this a prank call? Is you get somebody uh, prank call me? Not. One of your friends? No, I don't know. He's prank calling you because I didn't go to school. Are you sure you went to school? Not even our Sean. Don't believe you. Even our Sean. No, for that you lose more stuff. No. Yep. No, give me my Fanta, please. Can no. I? No, I'm really no. hungry. I'm really you can hungry. have the Fanta. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check on this. And if you don't go to school, you're grounded for life. Good. And beyond life, you're still grounded. <laughs> I don't think I pulled it off. Um, Did he believe it? No, he just went, but I was at school, and then, but he knows he was at school. I should have named a teacher at his school. I don't think I'm a very good actor. Uh, <laughs> Two hours later. <gasps> I've got a good idea. <gasps> Do you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what's that idea? To say that he's really grounded. Okay. After we tell him it's a prank. We're going to tell him it's a prank, but yeah. he's still actually grounded. Because why, Paul? Because he threw a shoe in the deal. Yeah, you know what? I think he does deserve to be grounded for that. Like, guys, he threw a shoe threw at a the shoe. old mum. That's not on. Look at the stuff. There's stuff everywhere. Have you got your story straight? Hi. What are you saying, man? Prank. Prank. But not really. Prank. Prank. Ah. Oh, Brian, go, Brian, go, Brian, go, Brian, go, Brian, go, Brian. Thank God for that. Oh my God. Oh. Are you bored? Aye. I've got bad news for you. What? You really are going to now. No, I'm not. Because you threw a shoe at mommy. No, I'm not going to. Must be disciplined for that. No. Yes. So now it started as a non prank prank back to prank. No. Yay, no. like you know the prank. It's not a prank. It's not a prank, it's no. a really grounding no, fair. No, no, you threw a shoe. Say hello to this little guy. And also say hello to this little guy. You're a day short and a dollar lit. No, I said that wrong. You're, You're a dollar short and a day lit. No, you threw a shoe, you shouldn't throw shoes. No, you know I can't. Enjoy it. your imprisonment. We're gonna go off now and enjoy some freedom. Yeah. Whilst we walk around the house free to enjoy life. No, because bye bye. Prank. Guys, this is me, Adam B and uh, old dad. And old mom. Well, we should say. And. Can't be. <gasps> Over and out. <laughs>